Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Death Scamet. Uh, last time we defeated that big warrior man, and it was pretty cool. Uh, I had a bit of a false start, so we're just resetting from here. Alduin. Oh, we're here. I guess it said that we're blocking it. So I just checked the map again. We don't have very much here to do. We just have a few things to come back and pick up. There's some stuff here in the sanctuary, but this looks like a hub area that we're going to keep looping back to. Like, that's a shortcut. That's probably a shortcut. That could be a shortcut. Who knows? And we'll do some more in the Scorching Corridor, but I'm pretty sure I did that early, so we don't need to worry too much about that. So you may have seen the short that I put out, but uh, my room started flooding. Twenty strength. We have eleven strength. Damn. All right. Um. Yeah, some guy on the floor above me like started using his dishwasher incorrectly, and he burnt like he melted a hole through his dishwasher. Right, we have that now. We must find out who's responsible for killing Hoopaloo. Hey, my lord, isn't that the killer? On guard, soldiers. Attack with vengeance in your hearts. Oh, I'm being attacked by frog fractions. The hell was that? Ooh, and I'm getting prickled. All right, we can make that. But yeah, you'll have to pardon me. I, I had like this like crappy false start. Um, So I, I missed one dialogue with a, a guy and you missed some of my walk back here. Not that there's a whole lot there. What now? Oh, we're having one of these, huh? Interesting. Cool. So we're in the old one. Damn. It's among my wife bought me. Don't mind Six me. Deaths. Go reclaim your Phoenix plumes and hide them if you lost them. And Hold on now. You dodge at the right time. It's just embarrassing to watch. So I might not be able to do these things at half health. I might have to start doing things at, you know, full full health here. Yeah, we'll need a triple jump or something for that. So you can be avoided. Just to make sure that I can retreat if I need to. I'm going to clear that out, and then I'm going to top off again. So what exactly hit me? Anyway, so somebody upstairs just melted a hole in their dishwasher. That fountain's awesome. Uh, and it started coming out of my light fixture. Obviously very scary to look at. I was like, should I call a plumber or an electrician? Who's, whose domain is this? 
Aha. Memories of Dark Souls 3 DLC. Now what the hell's going on here? Hmm. Can I get it back up? I can. Why are ceiling slimes that scoot around and then drop off such a thing? Don't even try to tell me they aren't. I know they're a thing. I'm like, pretty sure I fought them in Origa. I think I fought them in, um, Salt and Sanctuary as well. And in Dark Souls, uh, Guard Tomb is a place beyond fantasy where humans challenge what it meant to be humans. Yet, in the shadow of their ambitions, a zeal for purity grew. Well, that happens. Shouldn't happen. Not supposed to happen, but, you know. You can't trust people to not be weird. At some point, you know, if you make the mistake of trusting somebody to not be weird, they will get weird. Fortitude, magical barrier that reduces damage. Interesting. Open the gate. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so we can just head back. Do I have the juice? To level. I do. I got a nasty surprise with that one attack, so... So... Weird and... Eh, hello? So weird and interesting that these things had, like... Dialogue? Right here. Okay. Short bow. I have a plus three Vatus longsword. They just gave me a plus four Aldwin halberd. Interesting. So why don't we put on some stuff that can be used with that? Great sword, great sword, axe, spear, maybe? Six finesse. Oh, we can do that at least. Could be useful. Acol oh, so they're just dropping upgraded versions of the default weapons. Should I have a plus four weapon by now? Or is this just an unexpected windfall? There's this thing that Dark Souls does that I, I really liked where it essentially communicates with the player. Um, and it's a very unusual but unique true-to-form way of doing it. The game says something by giving you something. You know? That is how Dark Souls will communicate to the player a topic or concept. Ooh, you can hit the those things. So Dark Souls will say this area will have poison in it, and how it will say that is here's an item that will let you cure poison. It'll take more than your obnoxious grit to get through. Mm-hmm. You forgetting I'm immortal? Yes, yes, you're immortal. Without the fear of death. You will never reach your full potential. Death 
is merely an inconvenience for you, not a limitation. We train, we fight to push our limits. But what are yours when you have nothing to lose? Pray they don't capture you. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's a That's like a that's like a real world like trip mine noise. That's kind of nuts. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I can't sit on this. Radiant Plume. God, yeah, there's that sniper in the distance, too. I've got to remember that now. Uh, Dark Souls communicating with the player, right. So, if Dark Souls ever gives you an upgrade item, it does this in order to say, hey, upgrade your weapon. And the same is true in Bloodborne or Elden Ring. If they're giving you the opportunity or choice to upgrade your weapon, they're saying that this is a choice that you can and maybe should take. Wow, that's pretty good. Hello? Is that just extreme sweet spotting on the weapon there? Oh God, he's triggering them. Oh, I'm dry, damn. Still, I've got something like a level. Hmm. Cool, go in here. Church basement key. This are you that? Church. What do you got? There you are. To him. The bulwark shows in a battling. Oh yeah, there he is in the background. The, the lightning and the army. They sought to be anointed as he was by self-proclaimed gods. Usurpers who touted him like a trophy, inspiring entire generations into fervent devotion. Mm -hmm. In return they promised immortality. An alluring proposition. And you walk among the fools and the ghosts of Alduin. I didn't pick to say that. As the bulwark's mind and body slowly decayed. Until all that remained was his reaching soul. Who wants to live forever? Despite any Pardon. who prayed here. Having long since perished. My first name is Alfred, but my middle name is Connor. And depending on which uh, parent you ask, I'm either named after the main character of Highlander or the main character of Terminator. That being Connor McLeod of Clan McLeod or John Connor. And, now you and or Sarah Connor. Who have silenced his thunder. This storm that once heralded judgment. Now who shall be whether one is worth becoming mortal or not? Perhaps... Maybe no one was worth becoming immortal. Wasn't that the... Well, wasn't that what you were saying? Okay. Just one of those pre-sniper cutscenes. Hmm. Just straight up go in. Interesting. Something about this reminds me of Silent Hill 2. I'm not even sure what. How strange.
Okay, church basement key. Hmm. <laughs> awesome. That's just what I wanted. I see you back there, Origa. Why have you come to disturb the dead? She has bullets and a grappling hook. Interesting. Oh, and you still got melee. She'll reposition if she's too close. Interesting. I had no chance there. I didn't have any heals. Get used to your new accommodations. Oh my god. <laughs> You're not planning on keeping me here forever, are you? The bars will rust eventually. Perhaps by then you will rethink your glory seeking. Tell me, if you are already immortal, why do you seek the citadel? I'm looking for my mother. She was among Dead the by now. You are not the first to venture here with misguided sentiment. I will find her, and you won't stop me. Abandon your search. Nobody reaches the citadel, and neither will you. I like her voice modulation. Also, the the cloak is throwing it off, but other than that, she's like a space mer like this is a Mass Effect character. Like she's got a gun. You, you like I hardly notice, but like this is not a fantasy character at all. You're sci-fi. Suicide Blade. <laughs> Interesting. Quicken Plume, Crystallized Plume, Radiant Plume. So, what do I have now? Quicken Plume. So, if they're giving me a free kill yourself get out of jail free card, then that might mean that uh, what they really want me to use is this. But let's read this. Small blade you can use to kill yourself. A child that... You were told that as a child that any mortal who commits suicide does not gain entrance to heaven. Oh, okay. It does work. Interesting. So, I, I feel like it's definitely a doable fight. Really, guys? I just want to do my cool fighting game. Maybe there's something I've missed along this way, though. I guess that, like, retroactively makes me less, like, think less about the, um, these things. Guy in blood plus two. What is a guy in blood? Hmm. Well, I'm full, so I must have picked him up. 25 soul energy. Okay. More down here. Yeah. Alduin cape. I have a plus one zealots cape. Plus one 
plus five vit versus plus three vit and four strength. Why don't we stuff that on here? The Aldwin sewers, how wonderful. Perhaps down here we can find the other piece of Orga's tome. That should help us get a headway on her. A lot of story this time. So I can already open the gate from this side. So I wonder if that means that I was supposed to find the, you know, the side that I'm on now first. Everyone know the source of immortality even works? Everyone is back after I rested a death statue? I constantly seen tones laying about. Who's putting them there? Are you just the meta text lizard? I don't converse with novices who use save points. Get on my level and then maybe we'll talk. Yeah, you are. Panacea, Dark Empowerment Sigil, Scythe of Reaping, Necrotic Shield, Flare Plume, interesting. Skeleton Key. Huh. Cape of Wrath. Executioner's Cape and Prophet's Cape. Only losers use save points. Excuse me? Excuse me? Boy, for a harbinger of death, you aren't intimidating. That's Scythe, are you? The only qualified agent of death here? Yeah. He's pretty good. He's died less than you. I wonder if I've died nothing, no times, he'll still say that. Lumberkin are natural scavengers. You might be able to buy something nice for them. <laughs> what an ass. Hmm. That's interesting. So if I wanted to upgrade this, I've got the juice for it. Or no, I don't. Oh, I have four. I need 32. I got it. <laughs> so many padded greaves. I feel like I'm chopping a tree here. I wonder if anyone's ever chopped a tree down with a halberd. I always think that I'll like a halberd more than I do. Because often they have really, really weird movesets, you know? Because sometimes they have the... The spear poke as their normal. Sometimes it's the axe wing. Sometimes they also have a hammer on them. Otherworldly flesh. Nice. Ugh. Sickly looking flesh from another dimension. Slick and scaly, perhaps of aquatic origin. Or perhaps it's just putrid. There may be some use to it if given to the right pair of idle hands. Ugh. Horse back up there. You mentioned idle hands and longsword, daggers, 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 axe, halberd. Nine hundred essence, Sam. Well, let's put something on here then.
haste, and endurance. What does this weapon use? This is strength scaling. Okay, good. I'm usually pretty pleased with my ability to, uh, with using a strength weapon. It's that exact same wall I've seen somewhere else. While I'm here, let's take a look at the map. Yep. That connects back over here through to the central sanctuary. I think I said in this episode that that'll be a shortcut down below. Nice. Oh, well, there you go. So, uh, I don't remember if I've already opened that other door. Because if I have... Good. And here's this one. I know for a fact I've already talked about seeing that symbol in the past. Which means I also know that that's, that symbol is going to be like the ground pound. Like, when I get the ground pound, I'll... Yep, well, here's this one. What's this? Mist form? Like in Symphony of the Night? I've talked about this multiple times in the past, I'm sure. But I think it's very cool and sexy of me to, like, <laughs> to be talking about other video games all of the time. Because, like, I know that this game wants you to look at it and be like, wow, like Symphony of the Night? Like Dark Souls? And, you know, I'm, I'm doing that. There we go. So, yeah, the sweet spot on this thing is actually pretty intense. Please give Dragon Gas... Grass? I love Gib. I like I do like saying Gib. I don't know why. Hey buddy, get out of the way. Can't imagine the type of carnage that'll ensue if you crash into anything at this speed. My lifespan is 24 hours. Why are we using snails to travel? That's that's good. I'll come back with Trouble Jump then. Right. Later. Boy, it's dark. Mm hmm. <laughs> nice. Soul boost. Gain 70 when used. But other than that, I'm locked in down here. But I can go back up. Okay. Oops, sorry, horse. The darkness falls. Nice play on word. Like Autumn Leaves, the achievement for getting the character named Autumn to leave in Fallout 3. Can we just plow through this? Uh huh. We can. Huh. Okay.
Right, we have already seen that before. And we're back here again. Here. Let's grab some of these, will ya? Thank you. Hmm. That might be good for this episode. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I've been Alfred. This has been a casual uh, Death Gambit. I hope you have a good day. I know that I did. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.